Welcome to you from the Wanda Metropolitano, this wonderful stadium newly located here in the heart of Madrid and home to Atletico Madrid since the start of the 2017 season. The teams then, Atletico Madrid against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Didn't just miss it, we are up and running already. A derby rivalry that runs deep, Madrid divided as Real and Atletico go toe to toe. It's the foul! Real Madrid just about got away with it there. Well, how many warnings do they need of this breaking sharpness? They're asking for trouble and then some. That is a poor kick by the keeper, been intercepted. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And Draven, the first half equaliser on his last appearance. And he's made certain that won't get through. Tries lifting it over. Gabby goes looking. Defoe with the ball face to face. And the finish! Goal! Atletico Madrid! Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run. And he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Atletico Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Atletico Madrid keep up this trend of scoring at this sort of time in the first half. Modric has been included in the starting 11 for the first time in some weeks. Passes it through. Well read, he sorted that out. He's having a look round. Atletico Madrid get it back again. Ball's gone out of play. He's come loose. Now the can he put it away? In it goes! And already they're looking to run away with it. Well, there was to be no other outcome. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. whistle for half time it's the first half compared with your expectation well it's looking pretty straightforward Peter they've got themselves into a, a very good position so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a another show of strength Atletico Madrid ahead 2-0 and they are looking good so we're already into the second period by the keeper he's just given it straight back looks like a good ball through the shot's on back of the net and the second half is off to a flyer that's no fluke it's what he was there for our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions how quick minded was that the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Real Madrid get themselves back into contention. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half. Just has a pop! That is special! Olivier Giroud! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Giroud did well there. He was onto it in a trice. Look, that's one of the first things you learn 
whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage and sometimes you'll get lucky. It'll come your way. Athletic to fall! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Tries a through ball. Can he finish? Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Aimed low and direct. Balls come loose and the chase is on. Now it's Defoe. Just and the shot! They are rampant! And they are pulling clear here. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Sides, in fact, and that is that. Atletico Madrid, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they put on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. Well, how will we look back on that? Atletico Madrid made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's it's not always about form. It's not always about class or style. It's about pride.
welcome to you from the Wanda Metropolitano, this brand new home of Atletico Madrid. And here we have Atletico Madrid against Las Palmas. Fakir is making his first start in the first team here. A massive day for a lad who's come through the youth ranks. Um, well, I certainly agree with that. This is a, a huge endorsement from the manager too. A, a real vote of confidence to elevate him like this. Clearly the feeling is that he has all the credentials to handle a step up. And now the lineups for the game. Jim see making the difference here. Mario Gomez's role will be important. Uh, ball retention is a necessity for him if he hopes to have healthy enough support around him. And after that, he just focuses on his movement into the box and, and getting on the end of whatever arrives. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. So what's he planning here? Mario Gomez! That's a foul, free kick's been given. A oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. Atletico Madrid were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the set. He's gone for it! Goal! Atletico Madrid! Atletico Madrid take the lead! Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. And now, if I'm not mistaken, he's just one shy of the leading goal scorer. <laughs> Madrid, it's all first blood here. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Hit low and direct. in mind and I don't think he knew either and it's Giroud and it's shapes the shoots and he's there to make a great save the keeper really dug out his defence then a magnificent effort Ball. Who's going to get that? And we hit half time. So there you have it. A close fought half of football. But not that still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's the first half compared with your expectation. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Atletico Madrid for the dressing room in possession of a 1 0 lead. The 
Well, we're already into the second period. Gomez is fouled. This defence just doesn't trust itself to... Hits it! Terrific from Mario Gomez! Two up and threatening to pull clear! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. Atletico Madrid take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was... Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Mario Gomez has a pop! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Unbelievable! Surely now, beyond all doubt! Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Atletico Madrid take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. And the shot! It's a goal! And they are pulling still further away. With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Atletico Madrid totally rampant here. Going, is it in? Pulled out the best in the keeper. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. Out wide to the right. Giroud with a shot. Aquilani. And that's that. Atletico Madrid enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Osasuna against Atletico Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin.
Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. They've got on the way here, pretty header! And it's a goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. What a great header, got plenty on that. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. Gomez passes it through. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Osasuna have statistically the worst defence in the league. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Now the pass. Cuts it out. Looks to slip it through. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. He's had a shot! And he heaves it forward. Is it in? Saved only by poor finishing. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Tries to stroke it through. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery. And the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Atletico Madrid go in at half time with a slender one goal lead. The action has already resumed here. He'll have a dip! Cesc Fabregas. And shoots! Oh, brilliant! That is brilliant! Oh, that is a gem! Unbelievable. And this is getting better and better. Gabby with a predatory goal. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Atletico Madrid take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nice. Can he finish? Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole... Hits one! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And they are pulling clear here! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Tries a through ball. Turns and goes back. Out of play for a goal kick. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Gets it back. 
And it's Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez! And in it goes. Unbelievable. Ruthless and relentless. Utterly rampant. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Atletico Madrid, totally rampant here. Defoe, Mario Gomez, and through to the goalkeeper. Ingolan back to the keeper and go again and it's Mario Gomez has a hit what about that from Fernando Torres and still they continue with the onslaught well I think we've gone past humiliation now this could be doing some real psychological damage he snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. And that is that. Atletico Madrid enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Atletico Madrid simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.